What's going on you guys? It's your boy Captain Jack. Thanks for joining me on this episode. This video is brought to you by Rocked Up Reef. It's an apparel company. I'll go ahead and leave a link for the description for them down below. So I haven't really gone out since the last time I went to the Bahamas. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram under Captain Jack Spiro. But I was randomly going through my old stories, just basically old things that I've done. I kind of came across probably one of the best Bahamas trips I've ever done. It was probably my second time ever going over there and we camped on the islands over there and it was our second Second time actually camping on the island. It was an incredible trip. We had my cousin, his girlfriend at the time, my buddy Max, and of course, Spency. I'll show you all the stories that I had on my phone, but one of the biggest things is I will walk you through some of the raw footage that I had from my GoPro. Now, all of it was shot in an older GoPro, so you'll have to excuse the kind of lower quality, a little shakiness in the videos, but some of the content and quality of the stuff we shot was absolutely incredible. And mind you, this is whenever I was kind of newer to diving, so you'll kind of see where I'm at now from where I was back then but we are gonna go ahead and get into the footage. So you'll see a lot of this footage is shot vertically and that's because this was way before I started doing YouTube. Oh God, hi, hi. So it was a quick crossing and you can see that we're already in the crystal clear waters of the Bahamas. And of course, here's me screwing around with Spency like I always do, always pestering him, always giving him a hard time but we are making our way to our first spot. And here's a little quick glimpse at our home base that we're gonna head back to later in the evening. We got Max here. Uh, what inning are you uh, throwing, or are you uh, batting for those uh, those batting gloves you're wearing? Bottom of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth? <laughs> So we don't waste a lot of time, we get in the water, and I'm rocking the Predator Pole Spear. This is before the Nomad really kind of came out, and you can kind of see me chasing after this yellowtail. I did a little dive bomb on him, and he actually led me right to this nice hogfish. I go ahead, take my time, line up the shot. He was giving me a little bit of the tail wag, but I landed a good shot. He was hooked up to my belt reel. I let him go ahead and pull a little bit of line out to kind of wear himself out. I make sure I look around, don't see any sharks, and I go ahead and pull them on up to the surface. This is the first fish in the box, and it's a good one. Now, I know a lot of people ask me what pole spears to use, and the Predator is a really good one. It is a little more flimsy. If you're planning on shooting hogfish, snapper, not any giant grouper, it's a really good pole spear to use. So just moments before this, Spencer plugged a absolute monster of a black. He, it totally destroyed his rife pole spear, and you can see some of the blood coming out of this hole, and it brought in this nice hogfish. Probably one of my biggest ones of the weekend, but you can see all the blood coming out of that cave. That's where the fish is rocked up, but hogfish and hogfish kept coming in because there was so much commotion and grunting and blood in the water that they were wondering what was going on, so they kept coming in off the sand to see what was going on. And you can really take a lot from this. If you are diving and there's something going on and somebody's working a fish out of a hole, be ready for other fish to come in on it and it happens time and time again. Now while I was putting that hogfish in the boat, the black spooked out of that hole and went to another one. Spencer kind of gave me the rundown where he is, what he was doing. His pole spear was completely out of commission. So he told me he was in this crack. I go ahead and make a drop, pole spear drawn, ready to plug him, and once I get a little glimpse of the fish, I let it fly, and it ended up being a perfect shot in the fish. Now I know I made a good shot, I go ahead and horse him. He's being held on by that steel cable that the headhunter provides for their slip tips, and I got a really good hold of the fish, bear hugged him, and brought him to the surface. And of course, here comes some more hogfish off the sand. I pointed them out, but we were a little preoccupied with this nice black. Where's Spencer? Where's Spencer? So I had the Sony with the underwater housing, which this was a perfect opportunity, crystal clear water, get some really good video and possibly get some stills out of it. 
Since it was a teamwork fish, both Spencey and I got some really good photos with it. This next clip is of me on the boat, and unfortunately I didn't have my GoPro rolling, but I had an epic shot on a nice mutton. Nice. Like that, boy? Woo! Stud. Did you how they bounce? Nice mutton, that is. This is kind of a weird circumstance. I go ahead and make a drop. There's a black. He's just a little bit over legal size. And I figure, you know what? Why not? This is like my third fish of the day. I'm going to go ahead and put a fish in the box. I draw back on this fish and I land a perfect spine shot, but I didn't get full penetration. You'll kind of see what happens and I'll explain it as we go. So the slip tip didn't engage, but you can see I really injured the fish fatally. And I go ahead and put the slip tip on, but what happens is the metal kind of kinked. And whenever I went to draw back, the slip tip just fell right off. Luckily, my buddy divers were right next to me, and we were able to go down and land the fish. He was just laying up under a ledge. Now here's my last dive of the day. We're a little deep and you might be able to learn a couple pointers. I went ahead and threw my flashers. Now, I mean, I've been using these little flashers for a while. I tossed my flasher, a nice rock kind, also known as strawberry grouper, came into it and he was kind of holding his position, being a little aggressive. And I figured these things are delicious. They're like grouper candy. So I go ahead and put a shot in them. Now we're diving a little deeper, maybe like 60 feet. I go ahead and retrieve the flasher. I have a lot of breath left and there was a lot of commotion that just went down below. I know my buddy divers are looking above me, so I go ahead and start taking my time. I'm grunting. Maybe I could bring any kind of fish in, but this is a tactic that you guys can use. If you're down there, you have time, go ahead, make some grunts, make some commotion, and it could bring in one of those bigger predator fish that you could spear. But unfortunately, nothing really comes in. A shark comes in later on, but that's about it. Nice uh, rock hind. I'll toss it. So now we make our way to the islands and we get a little crazy. Hey. Island life. Conk masters over there. Look at them, they're so cute. Oh. <laughs> what you getting into, Dave? Making some uh, rum drinks. Some ranchadas? Hell no. <laughs> Hit it from the front. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get poured on by that stuff. That's a good knife. That's a good knife. The, like, that rust means it's good. The rust means it's good. Spencer's noodling. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what'd you say, Lauren? Look at this. It's tiny. It's the biggest one torso. That's right. That's right. Spine him. No big deal. Oh, stink. Oh. Fly by. Two sharks right there, trying to feed him, trying to hand feed him. Middle of nowhere. Nothing. Nothing. Incredible. Look at all those sharks. Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Just keep swimming in the water, they'll come in. Look at all those sharks. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I think there's six. It's eating right now. Oh, it's eating right out of her hand. Look at that. Bunch of sharks. What are you guys talking about? Look at all those sharks. Getting that GoPro footage. It's gonna be my hammock spot. Tree. Hammock tree. I think it'll be high. So even though it's been pouring, make it the best of it. Still, still beautiful. beautiful. And Max is beautiful. So beautiful. Let's kill that Kraken, man. I killed it for you. Wait. There's Spencer's tent. Who tents? 
hammock, dude. Hammock. Oh, oh. Where are you going? All right. Forgot something. What is happening right now? Oh my. Oh, this is what happens when you're miles and miles from nothing. <laughs> Dude, this is great, but we have a gigantic storm coming our way. But it's okay. Oh, God! Hey, you, you clean the house? Yeah? Oh, God, you're so strong. You're so strong. We got master chefs right here, Maxwell Aguilar. Aguilar. Oh, we got my boy. What up, Edo? I get to play this, bro. No, that's good, I guess. Yeah. Best way to tenderize right here. It's easier with two hands. Got to cool the camera though. Oh, damn. Here is tenderize and wash down. The crabbies. They'll come in for it. They're around here somewhere. This is the test. Are you better than John Menner cooking wise? Right, here. Put this on the head. Okay, god dang. <laughs> you got that part? Yeah, yeah, I got it. We got sample time. Right, hey, First sample. batch. It's good enough. Test it out, huh? So you guys wanna smoke the joint so now far. Or later? After so good. Sure, uh, my oh, god. Shit. This is conch. The conch batch. Conch batch. Oh, that's the fishy. Hoggy. Hoggy doggy. Yeah, we have four. That's it, right? That's all we have. Alright. What's it, man? Chopsticks. Re icing. Big. Big female hogs. We got these. Freaking kingfish. So on this last day, we're going to make it a super chill day. We're riding pretty far, but we're going to an area where there are a lot of sharks. There were a couple of guys with us that really wanted to get into some shark diving. So we knew the spot. We had a little bit of chum, and we jumped right in, and boy, they got all fired up. Of course, I had the pro camera, so I'll roll on a little compilation of us shark diving. You got me thinking all I did was wrong. Guess you got all you wanted. Yeah, I don't know if suddenly you're gone. You'll never be forgotten. Pretending no one is to blame. Too late to reignite our flame. How did I not see you running? How did I get behind? How did I not see this coming? Guess all you left me After some beautiful diving, we headed back home. My new phone yesterday. Little mutt. He has his own cooler. VIP. So there you have it guys, I hope you liked that. I really liked kind of reminiscing about that really cool experience we had. Got a little crazy on the island. We had an excellent feed, some good times with some good people and some incredible diving. Most of the diving we did was just that first day and we absolutely crushed it. I also learned a lot from that trip to where it made it way more successful for me to go back and do really well whenever I return. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it that thumbs up and if you're new, maybe consider subscribing. I drop content every week and like always guys, thanks for joining me this week and I'll see you next week for another adventure. Later.